Hicieron varias. Qué bueno. Pero me espero. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Estaba arreglando mi cámara. Oh, sí. Ahí está. Hello, how are you? Se ve bien bonita, se ve bien bonita. Thank you so much, Patricia. No, es que la tenían como para arriba la cámara y, y solo me miraba de aquí para allá. Ah, oh, bueno. Okay. How are you, girls? Very, um, very good. I'm relaxed and happy to be here. Excellent. Very good, Eliana. I love that you're always happy, and that's great. Believe me. Yes. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, you know what? I was thinking that today is our last class from the week, of course, right? We are missing yes. like eight classes to finish the the semester but I, I don't know if you feel the same way as I feel that when it's Thursday it's like I'm relaxed <laughs> <laughs> let me just writing down something one second i'm going to bring my bottle of water all right just one minute i'll be right back okay okay where is Yeah. All right, I'm back. Now, so welcome everyone. It's good to see you, Dancy, Patricia, and Ileana. Welcome. We are going to start the class now. I'm going to share with you my PPT. So let's see. Today is, um, do you see my PPT? Yes, teacher. Thanks. Yes. Very good. Today is Thursday, September. Second, 2021. Okay, we are in class number eight. Imagine everyone, the time has fly, right? It's like last week we were in the first class and now we are in class number eight. It's great. Let's see. Hello there, Laura. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, guess I'm like late, but I'm ready for the class. <laughs> don't worry, you're not late. We are early. That's what happens. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Siempre, eh, mi mamá siempre dice eso. Nosotros no estamos tarde. Ellos están muy temprano. Ellos están muy temprano. Es mejor así. All right, excellent. Very good. Um, as I was telling you, everyone, uh, Jesse, tell me, Jesse. Eh, eh, ¿Por qué en agosto en los números siempre iba S, T, 2021 y ahora es N, D? Mm. For second, Jancy. Quizá yo no lo había corregido, pero este es second, right? Ah. Right? Ok. For example, third, when it's number three, third, it's going to be T, H. In this case, it's second, so it's N D. Uh, okay. But Thank in, at the beginning of August, we didn't have classes together, so maybe it wasn't my PPT. <laughs> it wasn't my class, maybe. All right. So let me check. 
to have today we have a very busy agenda my dear students right let's think let's see this information what do you remember from our last class we have number one mentioned the demonstrative pronouns and you see again demonstrative pronouns that we learned yesterday do you remember the demonstrative pronouns that we learned that this, those, and the, this. Excellent. There you have it. Very good. What about number two? Which are the demonstrative pronouns that we use for singular choices? This, this, that, and I. this. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. And let's see, Liana, if I want to use demonstratives, like in number three, to talk in plural, which are the ones that I'm going to use? Those, these. Excellent, there you have it, pretty good. Excellent. Now let's check the following. Mention one use that we have for one and once. Let's see if you remember. Let's see, we use one for plural or singular, Laura? For singular. Mm -hmm, exactly, that's one use. And mm -hmm. I use once, Jancy, for plural or singular? Excuse me, teacher, repeat. I use once. Plural. Plural. There you have it, pretty good. Now, now you know that those are the uses, right? You use one for singular things and once for plural things, when we want to talk in plural. Number five, in which part of the sentence or questions do we use one or once? At the end of the question. Exactly, pretty good, very good. Um, we use is for one or once? One. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We use are for? Uh, once. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Put a lot of things. Excellent. Very good. There you have it. For example, we use the if for that is my notebook or this is my notebook. We use are, as you mentioned in plural, that uh, those are my agendas or my backpacks. These are my earrings, right? Plural, excellent, ready, good. Now, don't forget that also in question number five, where it says in which part of the sentence or questions do we use one or ones? As Patricia mentioned, it is, of course, it, at the end of the sentence. The end of the question, but remember also that we use it to replace the pronouns, right? Instead of repeating again and again the same thing, I'm only going to replace it, right? Now, let's see, I have this warming up for you, my dear students. <laughs> Just let me take my thing, okay? You know what a warming up is, right? I want to get into the mood, right? So let's see. The topic is spell the following words. You know what it spell means? Huh? You know what it spell means? No glue, no idea. Okay. Deletrear. Uh -huh, exactly. Very good. There you have it. Excellent. Diana. Okay, so we have these questions. Check this out. In case of a speed limit, when you are spelling, you need to say a space, right? For example, a speed limit, S-P-E-E-D, a space, L-I-M-I-T, right? You need to add space between the word because we have two words in one. Same as pickup truck, a skate park, danger stone, 
and only those, all right? Now, what I want you <coughs> need to see from these activities, how are we doing with the alphabet, right? If we remember letters, if we are like moving forward and we are not like B, I, no, I don't want that. I want to see if you're in the mood, like excited and everything. All right, so let's see. I'm going to start with Laura. Okay, Laura, spell the word speed limit. <coughs> Sorry. S P E E D space L I no. A no I era L I M I T. Excellent, very really good. I always confuse the I with the E. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know what I do? I try to remember that I is different. I uh, I think about someone doing this. Pienso que alguien está haciendo esto para acordarme. I. <laughs> okay. And I remember. I don't know why, okay. but my brain is my brain is like I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Peter. Thank you, Miss. My reaction. It could be useful. <laughs> Thank you. Laura, spell the word tire. Number four, tire. Number four, T I R A. No. Okay. Uh huh. It's R or R? R. Excellent. Very good. And the last one is E. No, uh -huh. I. No, e. E is yes. correct. And we I R. E. Exactly. There you have. This one is different. This one is janta, and the other one that you usually use is tired, right? Cansada, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah. Different. Okay. Excellent. Let's go with Patricia. Okay. Let's see, Patricia. And uh, spell okay. the word pickup truck. Uh, pickup truck. P. A. C. K. U P space T R U C K. All right, thank you very much. Don't forget, Patricia, that this is I. I. And you told me A. Okay. okay? And this ah, okay. one is thank. R. Okay. Ah. Excellent. Really good, Patricia. Okay, Patricia. Now, spell the word magma. Number nine. M A G M A. Excellent. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Let's go with Jancy. All right, Jancy. Spell the word prisoner. Number three, prisoner. Your microphone, yes. Okay. Number. Number three, prisoner. Okay. P e R A S O N I R. Let's check this one. Repeat after me, Jancy. Yeah. R P R I I S O N S O N E R E R Prisoner. Right? Don't okay. forget also the pronunciation of the word prisoner. Everyone, this is vocabulary for you. Extra vocabulary. And also, plus, you are reinforcing your spelling. All right, let's go with Adriana. Welcome, Diana, Adriana. <laughs> Good evening, Miss. Good evening. All right, Adriana, let's see. You're going to spell, va de letrear, right? Mm -hmm. Spell the words. Let's see, I'm going to choose number five. Spell the word skate park. Skate, skate park. S-K-A-T-E space P-A-R-K. Excellent, very good, escape park, excellent. All right, now spell the word danger zone. 
Number seven. Mm -hmm. Number seven. <clears throat> D-A-M-G-I-R space Z O M E. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, because in here you told me A <laughs> and it's E. All right. Excellent, Adriana. Very yeah. good. Very good. Thank you. Let's go, Diana. Let's see, Diana. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go with the word starvation, number 10. Spell the word starvation. S T A R B A T I O N. All right, excellent. Very good. Very good. Spell the word number six, sit belt. S E A T. B E L T. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Don't forget the space because in here you have the two words. Sit. No. Sorry. All right. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Diane. Now let me check Ileana. Let's see, Ileana. Okay. Spell the word. You haven't passed, right, Ileana? No. No. Okay. Uh, spell the word number eight, avalanche. A. V A L A N C H E. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with pickup truck, Ileana. Okay. P I C K U P space T R U C K. Excellent. Bravo. Very good. Thank you. Now let's go with Veronica. Let's see, Veronica. Spell the word magma. Number nine. M A G M A. Right, excellent. Very good. Don't forget this one is M, all right? M. M. Huh? M. M. Excellent. Very good. Now spell the word prisoner. Number three. Okay. E R. P -E R. P R E S O N E R. All right. Thank you. Remember that this one is I. I. Exactly. Very I. good. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Veronica. And let's go with Nestor. Let's see, Nestor. How are we doing with the spelling? All right. I spell the word <clears throat> seat belt. Number six. Uh, e E I T B E L T. All right. Repeat after me, Nestor. S E S E A T. A-T. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right, Nestor. Uh, spell the word starvation. Number 10. Is T -R -A -R -B -A -T -I -M -O -M. <laughs> okay. Let's go together, Nestor. S-T-A S-T-E R B no. Repeat after me. S T A S T A R V R V A T E I I O N. Excellent. There you have it. Very good. All right. And now let's check. Uh, we have Kevin into the class. Let's see, Kevin. Welcome. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. All right, let's see, Kevin. We are the spelling words to see if we remember the alphabet, right? Okay. Uh, spell the word danger zone, number seven. D I A N G E R space Z O N E. Excellent, really good. Uh, spell the word skate park. S K A T E space P 
A R K. Right, excellent. Very good. Very good, everyone. Thank you so much for doing this activity with me. Now, just giving you like, like, um, like an advice. Try to remember that it it's R, right? R, and this is for all of us. I know that sometimes we forget about it, and that's why these types of uh, activities are useful, right? We are not only playing with the brain, we are also playing with the vocabulary. So that's great. All right, everyone, with that being said, Miss, uh -huh, Laura? I have a question. Mm -hmm. Miss, uh, what a starvation is? Initiation. Okay. When you begin something. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, thank you. Okay. And it's mostly used in, in groups, big groups and stuff like that. Right? So now let's just check this information because we saw this yesterday. This is just um, a review, right? Let's see, Eliana. What do we have in one and once? Read. Mm -hmm. Read? We use one on one and once when talking about choosing or having more than one option. Excellent. Thank you. Kevin, give me the examples, please. Hey, is that your backpack? B, which one? The old one or the new one? A, the old one? B, yes, it is. All right, there you have it. That's when we are using one. And also we are using words like which, All right? And remember that you can also use updates, for example, the old one or the new one, right? That was a staple yesterday. Now, remember, Nestor, please read this information. We use? We use one or ones on the end of the question or as were in replace the not in question. Exactly, thank you, all right? So as we were talking at the beginning of the class, sometimes we can replace them now. We don't need to say again, the backpack, the blouse, the t-shirt. You can replace the noun by using one or once. Simple as that. Let's move on. We have this conversation. Which one do you prefer? I'm going to need Laura. You are going to be A. And... Patricia, you are B, and Diane, you are C. Action. Look, this jacket are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool on the, perdón. I like the wool one better. The wool one, why? It's, it looks warmer, warmer. Well, I like the letter, the, the little one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is the jacket? Is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, girls. No mistakes. No problems with the pronunciation. Excellent. Let's go with Adriana. Adriana, you are A. Jancy, you are B. And Eliana, you are C. <clears throat> right? Action. Okay. Look, um, look, these jackets are really nice. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It's a lot warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Um and there's no price tag excuse me 
How much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no. Thanks, okay. But thanks, anyway. You're welcome. Excellent. Thank you very much, girls. No mistakes, no problems. Let's move on. Let's have... Um, <laughs> let me check. I'm going to have... Kevin, you are A. Nestor, you are B. And... Let me see who else do I have in here. Ah, Veronica. Veronica, you are C. All right? Action. Look, these jackets are really light. I really nice. Which one do you prefer? Mm, B is me. <laughs> yes, you are B. Uh oh. Uh, uh like the wool uh one bearer. The wool one? Why? I look warmer. Well, I like the letter the letter one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, and there are no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's 499, Veronica. It's 199, but you like to be try it one. 499, four. Uh -huh. 499. Mm -hmm. Would you like to try it warm? Oh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Excellent. Very good. All right, everyone. Excellent. Let's see. Nestor, repeat after me. Eat. Eat. Three times. Eat. 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 Excellent. Very good. It looks warmer. All right. Let's go with Kevin. Repeat after me. A stylish. A stylish. A stylish. A stylish. A stylish. Yes. A stylish. Yeah, I know. I know it's difficult. A stylish. A stylish. All right. Excellent. Very good. Thank you so much, everyone. Now let's check. How are we doing with pronunciation, sentence stress, right? We have these words. These are just as an example. For example, excuse me, excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Notice when we go up and then we go down, that's the stress, right? Let's go again, listen, and then you will practice. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. You see, sometimes we go up, sometimes we go down. And listen, I know that you might believe right now, yes, that's difficult, right? Because we don't know that much about this. Most likely you're going to handle, you're going to handle this topic very well when you are in an advanced level, all right? Because with the use and the use and all those things, it's going to be on your brain forever, all right? So right now, let's just practice with the content that we have. Let's check. Let's start with Diane, please. Tell me the four sentences that we have in there. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Excellent. There you have it. Thank you so much. Patricia, your turn. Okay. Excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Excellent, really good. Thank Let's you. go with Jansi. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Excellent, there you have it. Remember that sometimes 
we go up, for example, I like the blue one. I like the blue one, right? Actually, also in Spanish, we tend to do this, right? Excellent. Thank you, Jansi. Let's go with Laura. Okay, Miss. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Excellent. There you have it. Let's go with Veronica. Let's see, Veronica. All right. Maybe she's drinking coffee. <laughs> Let's see, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, Miss. Uh, your problem is in the internet. Oh, okay. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, because sometimes I see that you are in the class and then I don't see you anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, excuse me. They are perfect. I like the blue ones. They are not attractive. Right, they are not very attractive. Excellent, Mary, thank you. Let's go with Nestor. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like a blue one. They are not very attractive. All right. But Nestor, remember in this one, they are not they very are not attractive. Very, very attractive. Excellent. They are not very attractive. They are not very attractive. Excellent. Very good. We're handling my, the, the stress. Excellent. Let's go with Adriana. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Excellent, really good, Adriana. You're into the mood, excellent. Let's go with Kevin. Excuse me, they are perfect. I like the blue one. They are not very attractive. Excellent, very good, very good. Ileana, let's check Ileana. Excuse me. They're perfect. I like the blue one. They're not very attractive. Excellent. Very really good job. Now, listen, when you're learning a second language or a foreign language, as is in this case, English, we are always going to have this kinds of, um, this kinds of materials, right? In which we need to practice the intonation going higher, going down, and stuff like that. Because the same as in Spanish, if we sometimes want to make uh, something stronger, we're going to pronounce it stronger, right? And it's the same thing in another language. You need, we need to learn how to go up and then down or not to be flat, right? Because flat is, flat is boring. We need to always handle how to improve our language and also our speaking ability. Very good. Now let's move on to the following. What are these things made of? All right. We have this vocabulary. Listen carefully. Cotton, rubber, gold, steel, leather, silver, plastic. Wool. One more time. Listen carefully. Wool, plastic, silver, leather. Look at this one. Leather. Look at the tongue. Leather, silk, gold, rubber, cotton. All right. Now let's check how are you doing with the pronunciation of the vocabulary. Let's start with Laura. Tell me the vocabulary, Laura. Okay. Cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, wool. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with 
Verónica. Pearl, Robert, Carl, Steve, Claire, Silver, Classic, Paul. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Nestor. Cora, Robert, Gold, Seal, Leather, Silver, Plastic, Work. Excellent, thank you very much. Remember everyone that these are materials, all right? Now let's move on with Patricia. Coro, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, wool. Thank you very much. Let's go with Diane. Cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, wool. Right, thank you. Let's go with Jancy. Hi, Jancy. Uh, cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, wool. Excellent, thank you. Kevin, tell me the vocabulary, please. Cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, wool. There you have it, very good. Ileana. Cotton, rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, wool. Excellent, very good. Adrian. Cotton, 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 rubber, gold, silk, leather, silver, plastic, wool. Excellent. There you have it. Thank you very much. Mary, tell me the vocabulary, please. Carol, rubber, gold, steel, leather, silver, plastic, wool. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's go now. All of you have practiced with the vocabulary. Now that you have this vocabulary, of course, you can get it onto your notebooks. If you want, you can copy. But right now, let's work on this exercise, all right? What are these things made of? Identify each one. Use the words from the list. If you have any issues or um, you don't know every meaning of this vocabulary, you can ask, all right? I have a question. Uh -huh, Diane? What does silk and rubber mean? All right, silk is like seda, all right? And leather is cuero. No, rubber. Ah, rubber. I have it in here. Ay, caucho. <laughs> ah, ule. Ah, uh -huh, basically, ule. No sé si le dicen gaucho o caucho. No creo que es caucho. Pensé que, pensé que el ule era wool. Entonces, wool, ¿qué es? No, wool es lana. Gracias. Thank you. All right. There you have it. There you go. Teacher. Yes. Eh, Rover sí es caucho. Caucho es, ¿verdad? Sí. All yes. right. Yo creí que se pronunciaba. Ya lo en el Ajá, en el diccionario. Ya lo busqué en el diccionario. <laughs> Excellent, muy bien, very good. That's great. Excellent. Uh, yesterday I was talking to one of my other student, students from another group. And he told me, "Miss, I'm using Google Translator for everything." He told. Me. And I asked him, "All right, but why don't you look for a dictionary?" A dictionary will be better, right? It's better than a translator. Because I told him, I explained him that when you translate things from Google Translator, sometimes it's not the same as if you look in a dictionary. 
So you need to be careful with it. So it's great. If you have a dictionary, that's wonderful. If not, also in internet, we have different dictionaries. Okay. Let me know when you're finished. Finish. Finish. Nice. Very good. Very good. Finish. All right, let's see. So, number one, a plastic bracelet, right? Plastic bracelet. No bracelet, it's bracelet. Let's go with number two. What you have in number two, Adriana? A uh, gold ring. Very good. A gold ring. Excellent. What you got in number three, Laura? A silk tie. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. What do you have? Uh, what do you have, uh, Patricia, in number four? Um. Wall socks. All right, excellent. Very good. Let's see, Jancy. What do you have in number five? A leather jacket. Leather. Leather. Leather jacket. Excellent. Very good. And let me check, Ileana. What do you have in number six? Uh, cotton. Sure. Very good. Excellent. Okay. What do you have? Seven, seven Mary. Um, Robert. Mm -hmm. Number seven, earrings. Uh, earrings. And seven is silver earrings. Excellent, very really good. And last but not least, Nestor, what do you have for number eight? Uh, rumor books. Repeat again, sorry. Rumor books. Rumor or rover? Rover. Book. Excellent. Very really good. There you have it. All right, everyone. Well, that was pretty, pretty much amazing. You know the vocabulary. Now that you know the vocabulary, I want you to practice, right? Create on your notebook two question, two sentences using any material that you want. For example, my t-shirt is made of cotton. All right. My finger ring is gold. You must create sentences using the vocab. All right, let's try to do it. Okay. 
Remember that if you're using these materials, the noun is going to be after. But if you use the word made of, for example, in the example that I gave you, my finger, my ring is made of silk, right? But if you want, you can say a gold, a gold ring or a silver ring, right? How many sentences, Miss? Only two. Two, okay. So finish. Excellent, very good. Finish. Excellent, there you have it. Finish. Excellent. Finish. All right. <clears throat> now. Let's check, my dear students, what do we have? Let's see. I'm going to need Ileana, okay, Ileana, tell me your sentences. Okay. I have a wool sweater. Excellent, really good. Um, I have a cotton shirt. Very good. Or blouse. <laughs> or blouse, uh -huh, exactly, excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Laura. My sandals are made of, of are made of plastic, mm -hmm. and Correct. I wear a cotton shirt. Excellent, very good. There you have it. Now we are using vocabulary. Let's go with Diane. I have a silver necklace, and your shoes are made of leather. Excellent, very good. <clears throat> Just give me one second, everyone. <laughs> Patricia, your sentences. Okay. My tablecloth is made of cotton. All right, excellent. My earrings are made of steel. Excellent, very good. You're using another one, steel, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with Nestor, uh -huh, Nestor. Um, my ring married is uh, gold. Mm -hmm. I have a sheer uh, cotton. Excellent, very good. I have a cotton shirt. Excellent. Let's see, Yancy, what do you have? Uh, I have this earring gold. Oh. Well, reverse. <laughs> no, these earrings are uh, earrings made of gold. Made. So of... The palabra made. Okay. Made. Made. Made of. Look at this. Made of. I have this earring made gold. Mm -hmm. Of gold. I, I have a a leather jack. Jack. All right. Excellent. Very good. There you have it. Let me check with Mary. My jacket is leather. My earrings are made of gold. All right, excellent. There you have it. Let's see, Veronica, what do you have? My boots are made of rubber. Mm -hmm. I love my current stuff. All right, excellent, very really good. And let's see, Adriana, what do you have? What do you have? 
My pants are made made of wool. Uh -huh. Wool, wool. Wool. All right. Uh -huh. uh, my mouse is made of plastic. Excellent. Very good. Very good. All right, everyone. Now, if you notice, we have learned how to use materials, or we could also call it vocabulary. And you put it into practice by using in the word made of or by using it before the noun. For example, before bracelet, before ring, before mouse, before t-shirt, all right? And that's great, that's perfect, all right? Now let's move on. Using comparative adjectives, all right? We have getting to this part, uh, which is pretty interesting, all right? You will see these examples, but these are not the only ones that we have. On Monday's class, I'm going to bring another examples for you to practice with more information. I hope you don't get bored of having more vocabulary into your, into your language, right? So I'm going to do my best to bring you more vocabulary. Now we have preference comparison with adjectives, all right? When we're talking about preferences, preferences, we usually use the word, I prefer, she prefers, right? Now, let's go with the first question. Diane, please, which? Which one do you prefer? Excellent. I prefer the leather one. Excellent, very good. Patricia, that one is? That one is cheaper than the world one. Uh -huh. The other one, this one? <clears throat> this one is nicer than... Uh -huh, exactly, very good. Oh. Sí, ahí terminamos, no se Dan, that's the comparative part. Thank okay. you, Patricia. Laura, the second question. Which one do you like better? Or which one do you like more? And the answer, I like the little one better or I like the little one more. Excellent, bravo, there you have it. Let's see, Liana, what answers do we have? What other options do we have in here? The leather jacket is prettier than. Mm -hmm. It looks bigger than. It's more stylish than. Excellent, there you have it. Okay. Now, Mary, ask the first question, please. Which one? Which one do you prefer? I prefer the little one. Excellent, thank you. The leather one. Let's go with Adriana. Uh, Adriana, give me, the, give me the options, please. That one is cheaper than the wool one. <laughs> this one is nicer than. Excellent. The, Very good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Let's go with Jancy, the second question. Jancy. And which one do you like better? Oh, Leca, how do you say? Dash. Dash more. All right, excellent. A slash also, we can say a slash. Uh -huh. Continue, Jancy, I like? I like the letter one better plus more. Excellent, very good, thank you. Let's see, Nestor, give me the other options that we have in here. The leather jacket. The leather jacket is prettier than. I look bigger than. It more is. Are you in that? Done. 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 All right. Excellent. Hi, everyone. So we can use. Pay attention to this one. We can use the leather jacket is prettier than, it looks bigger than, it's more stylish than. And this is when the comparative version gets into the class, right? We have a spelling. Let's see, Veronica, tell me the, the words that we have in here. Cheap, cheaper, continue. Nice. Nice. Casi 
si no le escuchamos, Verónica, no sé si los audífonos no funcionan muy bien o... Sorry. Cheap, cheaper, nice, nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. Excellent, thank you. Let's see, Laura, tell me the spelling. Cheap, cheaper, nice, nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. Excellent, thank you. Mary, give me the spelling, please. Cheaper, nice, nicer, very, very, big, bigger. All right, repeat after me, Mary. Pretty, pretty, prettier, pretty, pretty, prettier. Yeah. Very good. And the last one, Patricia, give me the spelling. Cheap. Cheaper, nice, nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. Excellent, thank you. Now, Ileana, what's the difference between cheap and cheaper in the spelling, Ileana? Um, uh, e R. Exactly, excellent. So in cheap, that's my normal, right? Yes. But then if I add cheaper, it's going to become a comparison, right? Um, and that's when we start to use it. Let's see, Adriana, what's the difference between nice and nicer? Um, the form, uh, the right or, or the meeting? No, the form. What does it change in only, the only, only, only uh, nice, nicer. Uh -huh. uh, add to letter R in the in the end. Exactly. Very good. Very good. And let's see, Diana. What's the difference between pretty and prettier in the spelling? The I E R. Exactly, I-E-R. Now, if you notice, we use this as to say that something is more, more, all right? Instead of saying, ah, oh, she's pretty, she's prettier than her mother, she's pretty, prettier than his, I don't know, his sister, anything else, right? Those are comparatives, and that's when we need to use them. Right now, let's see if you can write down only one sentence using comparatives, please. Only one sentence. Uh -huh, Laura? Miss, uh, this topic has always been difficult for me because I don't understand mm -hmm. if we can use, a, for example, this one is more nicer than, it's not correct. Or is? Yeah, this yeah. one is nicer than. Ah, no, el more no lo puede utilizar. Si ya Ajá, tiene, es el ya no lo necesita. Oh. Ya le agregó el superlativo, por así decirlo, o el Ajá. comparative en este caso. Con el ER, ya no le ponga more. Porque no se puede decir more cheaper. No se puede decir. Mm, y eso mm. es lo que les quiero traer en la next class. <ríe> eh, ok. Más como reglitas gramaticales para que estemos más abiertas al contenido y no se nos haga oh. más difícil, porque sí, a veces confunde eso del more. When am I going to use more? When I can use yeah. the ER. Because in Spanish we use, we use it. Ajá, exactly. Es más example, bonito we... que no decimos bonitísimo, por decir de alguna <laughs> palabra <There> loca. Is... <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. And that's what I want to. That's why I have more content related to this one in the next class. Mm -hmm. No lo traje ahora porque no quería agobiar. De tanto caso. Ok. Sí, I have Miss. more Ileana, Ileana had a comment. Ah, Ileana, huh? tell me, Ileana. In Spanish, um, how do you say grados? Levels or grades. Three, three levels or adjective. Positive, comparative, and superlative. Uh -huh. In Spanish, uh -huh. is the same in English? 
Yes, actually, yes, we have those grades or those levels. But as you are in the, you are not beginners anymore, you're intermediate. But what you're talking about, Ileana, it's like more in an advanced level. Oh, right? okay. It's more like, a, for example, I don't know if you remember girls and boys, <laughs> the grammatical rule that I brought yesterday. From the one that changing in simple present, the Y for ES and all those things, that's advanced level. That's advanced level. And I can tell you that because I spent one whole year learning that uh, grammatic, so that grammatical things. So that's why it's advanced, advanced grammar. That's how it's called. That's why. But don't worry, Eliana. Take your time. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. All right, everyone. How are you doing? Do you have your sentence? Just one. If you Finish. can, no, don't work. Okay. Let's see, Patricia, what do you have? My blue dress is cheaper than the red one. Exactly, very good, very good. Actually, everyone, if you notice, it's easier to use than and being changing or adding more and stuff like that. It's easier using that. <laughs> All right, thank you, Patricia. Somebody else who has another sentence and wants to participate? Ileana, welcome. Um, my cell phone is cheaper than my husband. Okay. My husband's cell phone. My husband's cell phone. Because if you say husband, you're saying that it's more caro than his wife. Right. <laughs> exactly. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Let's see. Somebody else has another example who would like to, ch to share? I have one. Right. Tell me, Diane. I think cold is better than heat. Exactly. All right. Thank you, Diana. Very good. Somebody else? Somebody else? Me, me teacher. Uh -huh. My jeans are cheaper than my skirt. Exactly. There you have it. Now I have noticed that all of you are using that and it's because it's easier, right? It's like more fluency. And I believe it's good. It's great. Excellent. All right, everyone. Now listen, before leaving the class, I just want to tell you something. If you by any chances have any mistake with the platform and you haven't received answers from the ones on charge of the platform, don't worry, be patient, right? Because they are full of many things. So sometimes that's why they take a little bit of time in answering the text that you made send. That's one. And the other one, I have seen that some of you have finished uh, the platform. Other ones are advancing and that's great according to the to the calendar and that's magnificent, excellent, very good. But uh, don't forget what I want you, what I need to tell you is don't stop using the platform, right? Recuerden que ustedes necesitan el 100% para poder continuar en el próximo curso. Y yo no quiero que se queden, quiero que saquen provecho y que aprendan y al mismo tiempo logren estar ya en el siguiente, all right? All right, my dear students, that was pretty much it for today's class. It was a pleasure to see you. Have a great night and see you on Monday. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. See you on Monday. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye.